the bear who came to babysit. Arno and Bibi were helping Mum and Mike to pack for their honeymoon. Mum checked her list. Clothes, a toothbrush, tickets. We just need the babysitter to arrive, she said. We found you the perfect one, said Mike with a wink. You're going to have a great time. You'll barely notice we're gone. But little did the children know, the babysitter was... A great big... Bear! Be on your best behavior, said Mum. We'll be back in a few days. Rawr, growled the bear. The children stood speechless, staring at their new babysitter. Earlier, could you imagine if your parents went out, or your mum or dad went out, and um, who came to mind you? A bear. I think I would be in a little bit of a shock. Arno turned to his sister. Is this really happening? he asked. Who ever heard of a bear babysitter? shrugged Bibi. Rawr, growled the bear. That night the bear ran a bat. Don't forget the bubbles, said Bibi, handing the bear the bottle. The bear squeezed it very hard. This is fun, giggled the children. Rawr, growled the bear. The next morning, Bibi and Arno sat down at the table. Hmm, I wonder what's for breakfast, said Arno. Do you notice the bear is actually holding the cookbook upside down? And it looks like there's been a lot of splashing in the kitchen. Do you think bears can cook? We'll have to see. The bear gave them each some extremely sticky honey. This is delicious, chuckled the children. Rawr, growled the bear. After breakfast, it was time to go to school. Arno and Bibi hopped into the car and buckled their seatbelts as the bear squeezed into the driver's seat. There's barely enough room for him. Screech, went the brakes. Whee, said the children. Growl, growled the bear. That night, the bear tucked the children into bed. They snuggled up to listen to a bedtime story. Good night, whispered Arno. Good night, whispered Bibi. Rawr, growled the bear. The next day was Saturday, so the children slept late. Meanwhile, the bear did some laundry. Oh, look at the stinky, smelly sock down there. Then he hung it on the line. Good morning, called the neighbor. Rawr, growled the bear. When the children finally woke up, the bear was busy washing the dishes. <laughs> How is he washing the dishes? <laughs> He's licking the plates. Good morning, bear, shouted Bibi as they both raced downstairs. How did you sleep? Yuck, said the children. This is not how Mom and Mike usually do the dishes. In fact, the bear hadn't done anything the way that Mom and Mike usually did. They won't let you babysit again if they see all this mess, cried Arno. Rawr, growled the bear. They rushed to gather the clothes from the line Ooh. and placed them in the washing machine. They whizzed around the kitchen until the dishes were spotless and the sticky breakfast mess was all cleaned up. They sped through the upstairs rooms, mopping up the bathroom, tidying the bedrooms. Arno hastily patched up the curtains, while Bibi and the bear hurriedly painted the car, finishing just as Mum and Mike arrived home. Well, you both look happy, said Mike. And the house looks very tidy, said Mum. Have you all had fun? Yes, shouted the children. Can you guess what the bear said? Rawr, growled the bear. After the bear had gone, Mum asked the children, would you like your new friends to babysit again one day? Do you think what, what do you think the kids said? I would have said yes, but the kids said Rawr. Oh. Bear 
That bear looks tired. <laughs> it must have been hard work babysitting children for a bear. And it looks like the washing line things might also still need a bit of tidying up. Thank you for listening to that story. I want you to have a little think if there was any of the incidents with the bear which were your favourite. See if you can think back to the things that happened with the bear in the story and see if any of those are your favourite. I would now like uh, our phase one group to see if you can do the same game again as you did on Monday. And when you're finished with that, see if you can have a little listen outside where you live and see if there's any of the same sounds you could hear there. Or if there's any new sounds that you can hear. You might be able to do this um, if you go on a little walk, if you've already been on your walk or outside time today, then save this for tomorrow. Enjoy! Hi, we are going to look at the letters and sounds together. I will run through them. I will have got uh, cards ready on the table. I will pick up a card, show it to you, say the sound and show the action that goes with it. Yeah, let's give it a go. The new sound that we will be uh, learning today is um, is the beginning sound of this beautiful, beautiful creature uh, lying here on the screen. Can you see what it is? It is a lion. What do you hear at the beginning of lion? L, l, lion. Do we know anyone in our earlier class who begins with l? Yeah, Lila. Lila and lion begin with l. Let me write the l for you. We start at the top. Lovely, lovely, lovely down. And then it has a tail. L. Make sure it's nice and long. L. Ladder. L. Ladybug. L lamp, L leaf. Perhaps you could find something at home that also begins with L. Now the action for the L comes from 
licking a lollipop. So your hand goes up in front of your mouth. You pretend that you've got a long popsicle or a long lollipop sticking out. And then you go L, just by sticking your tongue forward. L, L, by saying the sound. I would like you to give a go at trying to write it. And there is one more activity for phase two, but of course anyone else can give it a go. We are going to be reading some CVC words. Jen, what's a CVC word? It is a word that's made out of three sounds. Just like my name. J, E, N, Jen. Phase two. Well done. 